Welcome Wildcats and all who are watching on my YouTube channel that I'm just now learning how to do. So bear with me a little bit because I'm new at this, but that's the way it is with art. You know, the more you practice art, the better you get and it's going to be wobbly at first. So I'm here to just remind you to please practice your basics. Um, especially with things that are in your home. I have a few items to help you see what I'm talking about. So for example, uh, not everybody has a Starbucks cylinder shaped cup like this, but I'm just saying, you know, if you see swirls and things, decorative things that you might want to try to practice, uh, remember the Zen tangles that we were working on and just keeping yourself practicing at least 30 minutes a day. That's going to really help you. Have another example. I'm just finding things in my art room and I love this one because of all the different shapes of the brushes. It just gives you another idea that you might have at your home or something similar. Um, as far as a sphere goes, I found a lime in my fridge that is a great idea of something to practice drawing. Um, if you actually have colors, then you could put the colors to it too and look at the highlight and see what you have at home that you can continue to draw. Uh, I also found a banana. Bananas are great because it's like a cylinder on its side. And then that way you can like look at all the cool, uh, sh it's got, it's got, it's not exactly round and so it's got lines that you can look at and try to practice drawing. That would be a cool thing to do. Uh, I found a cube shape. This is just uh, a note card thing that I had in my house and it just happens to have that cube shape that we've been practicing. Remember how we made the squares um, and then just put it together and just see how you do. It's going to be totally fine if you make mistakes along the way. The thing you want to do is just keep warmed up and keep practicing. Keep a little bit of a journal, an art journal. So for example, today being uh, March 19th, you're going to want to just make a note of the date and practice your signature in cursive and just keep track of the different things that you're finding that you can draw and practice your shading and enjoy yourself. Number one, you want to make sure that you're just brave every day practicing different items in your home and see what the light's looking like on them and the shadows. And uh, you might make some mistakes, but it's totally okay. Again, the more you practice, the braver you get at drawing anything that you can, anything that you see in your room or in your home. Uh, those skills are going to continue to be with you. And you will find that, especially if you practice the same thing over and over again, you'll find yourself getting better and better at it. Um, I just want to remind you if there's any chance you need to talk to me or you want to find a time to talk to me, go ahead and just email me at the school email address and uh, let me know and I'll do whatever I can to get in touch with you. Just want you to know that I'm here for you and I'm here to encourage you to do your art every single day, at least for 30 minutes. It'll help make your day go a lot better. I hope to see you guys soon, and I can't wait to see what kind of art journals you put together. Uh, continue to do the best you can. Bye for now.